Hey, what's up guys? Sean97 here with another Airsoft review. Today we're going to be looking at the Elite Force Legends Smoke Wagon Revolver. This gun has got to be my favorite out of my little collection as it really puts you in the time period of the Wild West. Now, this is a full metal replica of the old Colt 45 revolver back in the 1800s. Uh, of course, the grips are plastic, but the look and feel does have a nice finish. Since this is a CO2 revolver, the gun is going to feel a little bit heavier once that canister is placed inside uh, of the grip slot. Uh, looking at the box, it does have a nice presentation with some details on the back of the box that map out certain parts of the revolver. We can see that this is a full metal single action revolver with a safety underneath, uh, which we'll take a look at later. Uh, this box mentions the feet per second with the 0.2 gram BBs, and I've seen it go to 350 or even lower. Uh, when firing the gun, those first 10 to 15 shots are going to be the most powerful, and then the CO2 is going to lessen, and your shots won't be as powerful or accurate. Uh, opening up the box, we have our manuals and a little bit of bubble wrap to help the gun fit snug inside the box. Uh, in the manual, it does go into more detail about the safety, how to fire the gun, and how to reload it. Then it says again in a couple of different languages. Uh, taking a look at the gun, you might be able to tell that I've used it quite a bit. Uh, spinning and firing this gun never gets old, and this is definitely something you're going to want to show to your airsoft friends. Uh, opening up the grip panel shows us where to put our CO2 for firing. Fortunately, we have a conveniently placed key that sits on the inside of the grip. Opening it up allows us to insert and seal our CO2 canister. Once you get your CO2 inside the gun, you can start to reload it. Now, by placing a single BB inside each shell, you can take the, uh, the shells and put them inside the gun. Uh, as an Old West revolver, it shoots six shots, and of course, you can fan the hammer, but be careful because the hammer spring can break when too much force is applied. Uh, in order to put the shells in, you must half cock the hammer, which you will do by hearing one click. Uh, opening the shell door, and then you can load your shells and then putting the shells in. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you're ready to fire. Of course, make sure your safety, uh, your safety is off when firing, or else your gun won't do anything. Uh, flipping the gun upside down reveals our safety. Uh, red means dead, and white means safety on. The safety will only function when the hammer is not pulled back. You may have seen uh, the extra shells that I have here off to the side, which does not come with the gun. I ordered these extra shells and the gun from evike.com, and I'll be placing a link in the description. Other shells do work as well, uh, even the ones from my Python .357, which have the BBs go in the opposite side of the shell. Uh, one more cool thing about this revolver is the functional hand ejector. It, is, uh, it isn't the most practical, but it is there. Uh, opening up the shell door and half cocking the hammer allows us to eject the shells with the rod and open up the slot. All in all, this really is something neat that you can take out on the field, but I would recommend that CQB fields are really where this should stay. Uh, lastly, I'm going to show you guys some tricks and the firing of the gun. Thanks for watching.
here's why you should not fan your hammer. 